Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Legend has it that good fortune smiles upon those most deserving. Tonight's tale, however, follows the adventures of a rather lazy young man who seems to stumble upon fortune. But what he does with his simple lamp proves him a most deserving hero. Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. It was many, many years ago in a faraway eastern land that there lived a young man named Aladdin. There were those who thought him a good for nothing, since he spent all his time in idle play with his friends. As for me, I knew Aladdin to have a good heart. Ah, marbles is for the sultans. Forget it, Aladdin, you always win. Maybe today will be your lucky day, peeps. Yeah, it's mine. Perhaps you can help me. I'm searching for a young man named Aladdin. Why? What do you do? Nothing. <laughs> then I'm Aladdin. Ah, at last, I found you. <laughs> I am your long-lost uncle. Impossible. I don't have an uncle. When I heard of my brother's death, I came as quickly as possible. But my father's been dead a long time. I was very, very far away. Now, let us hurry to your home so I can meet your mother. We can feast together and become better acquainted. Forget the feast. We don't have food. Not to worry, my dear boy. I am a man of many riches. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, follow me, dear uncle. <laughs> Syria, Persia, and the Indies, both north and south. Oh, you must be. Oh, what an honor. And so beautiful. <laughs> Aladdin, who is your friend? He's my long-lost uncle, Mother. And this must be the place where my dear departed brother reclined. I must sit in it. No, it's a hallowed spot. Such a tragedy <laughs> that he's gone. In all the years I was married to Mustafa, he never mentioned a brother. I'm not surprised. We didn't get along. So, I've come to redeem myself. Starting with a well-deserved feast. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the start of Aladdin's new life. First, I'll take him to town and buy him a fine new wardrobe. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that. But he wants to, Mother. Then I shall set him up in a small business. Any business he likes. I think I'd like to have a marble shop. Oh, you may have noticed that Aladdin's not the most responsible young man in town. <laughs> that would change. <clears throat> After all, mm. what's the point of having riches if you can't help your family? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
Now can we get my marble shop? I'll admit, I, I don't know a lot about business, but I'm sure this is not the best location for a shop. First, I want you to do something for me. Something special. Well, sure, Uncle. It's the least I can do. Ah! This is the place. Where? Silence! Observe. What opportunity. Alakazi, Earth now tremble and reveal to me. Wait, come back here. But I'm afraid. You must do exactly as I say. You drop into this hole, into the cave below. You'll go through a long, narrow passageway. Do not touch the walls. If you do, you'll die instantly. At the end of the passageway, you come to a large, shadowy room with two large fruit trees. Continue beyond those trees. On top of a gargoyle pedestal, you'll find a lamp. You bring this lamp to me, my friend, and we'll be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Listen, you know exactly where it is. Why don't you go? I'll wait here, I promise. You idiot. I'm your uncle. Now, go. Yeah, but aren't there rodents and bats and stuff down there? I really hate those. Here, if you get into trouble, Rub this ring, it'll protect you. Now go! Give me the land for safekeeping. It's safe, trust me. Just help me out. Give me the lamp and I'll help you out. Well, help me out and I'll give you the lamp. Give it to me. No. Then you'll never get out. And you'll never get the lamp. I have lost my great temper. And once it is lost, it is impossible to find. And I shall remain forever angry. All right. You can have the lamp. I'm gonna die. Well, at least I'm already buried. Good evening, Sven. Who are you? I am Abdul, genie of the ring. Really? Truly? I thought genies were just... Imaginary? Sometimes. But I am very real. How could my uncle do this to me? Oh, my friend, I am sorry to report. He was just an evil Moroccan magician who was only using you to gain possession of the lamp. Why are you here? To give you what you want. What I want is to get out of this cave. Very well.
And then he just left me down there to die. You know, Aladdin, I don't think that man was your uncle. Of course not, mother. He was an evil Moroccan magician. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat, please? Oh, of course. I have a bean and a pig. Which would you prefer? Maybe I can get something out of this lamp. I'll sell it for food. That? It's so old and dirty. Well, I'll just clean it. <laughs> that loaf! Fresh air! Who are you? Who am I? You ask, who am I? I am the genie of the lamp, and being bottled up for thousands of years has made me extremely short-tempered. So I ask you, how do you wish to die? I don't wish to die. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Not to worry. I cannot kill you. You are now my master, and I am here to grant you any wish that you may desire. Where do you come from? Originally, I was born from the thundering wind that blew from the mouth of the great white bear, who came from the fiery yellow sun, who is the eye of the all-powerful being whose name I am forbidden to speak, and you are? Aladdin, I was born from Mustafa the tailor, and that's my mother there passed out from fright. <laughs> Amusing. And now, what is it you request, O oh, Aladdin of humble birth? Well, I'm very hungry. Food? You ask for food from me, who can create mountains from valleys and oceans from deserts? I'm sorry, all I can think of is food. <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you care to join me? Oh, I am flattered, my tiny master, but genies do not eat. Never have, never will. <laughs> now, are there any other requests? Anything under the sun or the moon or the heavens above. Uh, could you return to your lamp so that I might revive my mother who's frightened of your presence? What if I refuse? What if I choose instead to rearrange the features of your young face? I'm your master. And I command you to get back in the lamp. <laughs> As you wish. But if there's anything else you desire, you have only to rub the lamp. No, no, no. I don't want it around the house. Get rid of it. But, Mother, it's a magic lamp with a real genie inside. Genie? Look, looks like a nightmare to me. Please, can I keep it? No! But I'll take care of it, I promise. Very well. Thanks, Keep it out of my sight! There the street blows the shutters. Princess Sabrina's on her way to the royal bath, and no one must look upon her face. <laughs> get married. Praise be to Allah. My son's become a man. 
And who is the fortunate young maid? She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Princess Sabrina, daughter of the Sultan. Oh, son. Dear son. She's royalty. You're uh, not. The two shall never entwine. I want you to go to the palace tomorrow and tell the Sultan I wish to marry his daughter, mother. Oh, I think I prefer to stay alive instead, Aladdin. Don't worry, mother. Just give him these. I'll wrap them up in this napkin to protect Ooh. them. Ooh. Please. Oh. Oh, you're lucky that I am a devoted mother. I'll do as you wish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It goes round and round forever, yet the dog never catches the cat. Baffling and truly entertaining. Quite. May I remind you? Have I shown you the latest addition to my collection of interesting objects? Listen. Voices. The music box. So look. Look inside. Amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> Your Highness, there are people awaiting an audience with you. Oh, 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 oh people. A welcome diversion. Well, yes, yeah, well, send them in, send them in, send them in. Next. <coughs> what can I do for you, good woman? Oh, Your Highness, I beg you to... Pardon the b boldness of my requ requ request. Your pardon? Well, then, now, uh, what is it you want? Well, uh, my son Aladdin who wishes to marry your uh, daughter, the Princess Sabrina. But as a token of his good intentions, he asked me to give you this g g gift. Oh, napkins. You bring me napkins. These are the most amazing jewels I have ever seen, and big, very big. Anyone who uh, values my daughter so highly would, I am sure, make an excellent husband. This is preposterous. Your Highness, surely there is one more worthy in the palace of your daughter's hand than the son of... Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, uh, perhaps. Woman, tell your son... I will give the matter serious consideration and let him know of my decision. Oh, thank you, my Sultan. Oh. 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 Aladdin was thrilled. He was positive the Sultan would decide in his favor. Aladdin, we missed you. The streets aren't the same without you. I can see that. What is all this? We're having a new holiday? Mm -hmm. Haven't you heard? The Princess Sabrina's going to marry the Grand Vizier tomorrow. What? That's impossible. She's supposed to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Aladdin. How I miss your sense of humor. <laughs> oh, I'm serious. She's going to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would call. What is it you desire? I'm not sure. Those who are not sure are surely nothing at all. <laughs> the Grand Vizier is going to marry Princess Sabrina, and I, I want... And you want to give them a beautiful wedding gift. Very well. No, no. Uh... I wanted to marry her, and something went wrong. I see. You want me to kill you and put you out of your misery. 
as you wish. No, please listen. <laughs> Your wish is my command. I want you to get the princess and bring her here so that I may speak with her. <laughs> I'm listening. And then I want you to take the Grand Vizier to uh, someplace else and keep him there till morning. May I scare him? Just don't kill him. <laughs> to the baths? You do remember. <laughs> How could I forget? Your head was sticking out of a pot. <laughs> I looked real stupid, didn't I? No, no, no. It's just that, well, no boy has ever really looked at me before. Well, what do you expect? It's punishable by death to see the princess in daylight. It is? Oh, well, that explains it. See, all this time I thought people were just ignoring me. I think that would be impossible. And you risked your life just to look at me? <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a question? Do you believe in love at first sight? Well, I, I believe in love. Now, can I ask you a question? Where am I? Oh, <laughs> oh you're in my room. <clears throat> How did I get here? In a stream of pink smoke. I just call it magic. Oh, you're a magician? Me? No. I have a friend who's a magician. I, he's not exactly a magician. He's real similar. Well, I had him bring you here because I need to talk to you. I don't want you to marry the Grand Vizier. I don't want to marry him either. You don't? No! Oh, but I can't disobey my father's wish. I, I must marry the Grand Vizier. Oh. Well, I guess I should return you to your palace. I guess. Ah, uh, except, ah, uh, I don't know how. You know? <laughs> and so Aladdin and the princess talked long into the night, enjoying each other's company very, very much, unlike the Grand Vizier and his gracious host, the genie. <laughs> this is all most confusing. And you say it occurred last night. Yes, Father, it was wonderful. It was horrible. He was so kind and, and handsome, and, and we talked. He was huge. He was ruthless. He picked me up and threw me into the sky. I thought I would die. Are we talking about the same fellow? No. No. Oh, I see. Yeah, move that fourth hand down a little bit. There, there. Good, good. After a mere moment's deliberation, I have decided that this is a bad omen. If he comes back, that face, that voice... And considering the fact that you, Grand Vizier, appear to be slightly unstable and that you, dearest daughter, appear to be lost in a land of dreams, I hereby order that this wedding be cancelled. What? What, Your Highness? Oh, Father, I 
shall try to live with it. Oh. I beg you to reconsider. I am sorry, Grand Vizier, but a bad omen is nothing to trifle with. A little higher there, please. A little higher. There, there. <laughs> I must possess that lamp. I need it. I deserve it. Tell me, mysterious medallion, is it time for me to return to the cave and retrieve the lamp? No. What do you mean, no? It's the seventh day of a seventh month with a seventh full moon. It's the perfect time. Aladdin has taken the lamp from the cave. That's impossible. Aladdin is dead. No, he is not. He has to be. He isn't. Why, well, that dirty little thief. I'm gonna find Aladdin. When I finish with him, he'll have but one wish. He'll wish he were dead. Finally, Aladdin was called before the Sultan as a prospective husband for the princess. Your Highness, may I present my son Aladdin? Rise, young man, so that I might gaze upon you. Highness, this is nothing but a common street person. Obviously not a suitable husband for the princess. Yes, I too have my reservations. <clears throat> Begging the Sultan's pardon, but if there's anything I can do to prove my worthiness, you have only to ask. There's a big chance. Make it impossible. Oh, I do have a certain fondness for clever devices. Objects of great entertainment value. If you could present me with an object more imaginative than anything that exists on Earth, I would consider it the ultimate token of your worthiness. I'll be right back. It's the last we'll see of him. I was napping. What do you need? I, I, I need a gift for the Sultan. Gold! In the twinkling of an eye, I shall fill the palace with a mountain of gold. No, no, it, it, it must be something that's more... Jewels! With the snuff of my tremendous fingers, I, I shall create a diamond the size of the moon. No, it must be something that he... Silver! He's the done! Will you listen? Don't you dare speak to me in that tone of voice. Sorry, it's just sometimes you're very exasperated. <laughs> You're forgiven. <laughs> Look, I'm in a hurry. I, I, I need an imaginative gadget. Such as? Uh, well, you're the genie. You must have an idea. Think of something. Nope. I have great powers, but very little imagination. Okay. We, uh, how, how, about, how, about, how about a box with a window? That's... Imaginative? What? You look in this window and you see wonderful objects like uh, people and places, and there's voices and sounds and colors. Oh, not bad. Incredible, magnificent. <laughs> Father, I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, 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 not at all, my lovely daughter. It's time you were introduced to your future husband. Oh, Father, please, not that again. I, no, that's no, why... No, 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 no. Why, he's the one. I know. I just said that. No, he, he's the one I told you about from my dream that night. You remember? Well, apparently, my good Aladdin, you have somehow already managed to gain my daughter's affection. Let the preparations for the wedding begin. <laughs> Begging your pardon, but may I request a parcel of land on which to build a palace worthy of the princess? Of course. You may have the land next to my palace. I will even lend you my workers to construct it. That's okay. I have my own worker. I thought the circular staircase would look good right there. And we could put the, the twin towers to the east. Are you sure you love this woman? I won't go building a beautiful palace if I just had to tear it right back down again. 
I love her very much. All right. Now, we should get the finest marble. And we could frame the windows in gold and silver. And inland with jewels. And over here could have a rotunda. What's wrong with this house? <laughs> Everything. It's small. It's cramped. It's shabby. It's a palace compared to a lamp. Well, if you can't build what I want. You dare insult me. Why? I can build the finest palace in the whole of the universe. Great. Have it done tomorrow. 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 Monday. Uh, yes, uh, that's right. Why, I should take your miserable little head and crush it in my hand like an insect and spread it on the sand it does not deserve to return to. What did I say? Monday! It is a day of rest for all genies. We neither work nor sleep nor play, we simply rest. Tuesday would be fine. <laughs> As you wish. Magnificent, incredible, and in only two days. How did you do it? Uh, well, the first day was uh, framing and the foundation, and the second day was uh, everything else. You know, I was thinking of adding a few rooms to my palace. Might you spare me your workers for an hour or two? Uh, uh, sorry, Sultan. They're very much in demand. Oh, I can imagine. I am most impressed, my son. And so Aladdin and the beautiful Princess Sabrina were married. To celebrate the event, Aladdin gave a lavish party in his elegant new palace. Relaxing, stretching, breathing in fresh air. Quick, get back in the lamp, please. It's our wedding night. <laughs> Not to worry, oh worried one. I have no interest in the antics of mortals. Who are you talking to? Uh, just now? Uh... I was praying. I, uh, I asked for a little guidance. Because I want this to be a most enchanting evening. You're so awful. I love you, Aladdin. You really? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't be silly. What? What is it? Did I say something wrong? No. It's just that I have everything I've ever wanted. And that's a problem? Well, why? Why am I so fortunate? My dear, it's what you do with what you have that matters. And you've done a great deal. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. No, I distinctly heard something. It must have been the beating of my heart, Sabrina. Aladdin? Uh, it must have been a slight breeze. So Aladdin and the princess were very happy. In time, Aladdin became a respected and popular figure in the city. Wisely, Aladdin never forgot his roots and shared his wealth with the poor and needy. What's your next business going to be? Trading gold for rocks? <laughs> <laughs> you have thrown laughs. <laughs> you would not believe it, my mistress. Some ragged derelict is trading new lamps for old ones. He <laughs> truly is a crazy one. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, Aladdin has an extremely old and, and dirty lamp right over there. 
Go fetch it and see if the fool will exchange it for a new one. Oh, won't Aladdin be so happy to come home and find a new lamp in its place? Yes. This will do nicely. <laughs> take a lamp. Hmm. I don't know. This is nice. Yes, yes, but take I, it. Take no, it. Then take again, it. this one is so much nicer. Good, good. You can have it. Take it. But perhaps my mistress would enjoy a little All right, my all head. right. Take the whole bunch. What do I care? Now, the rest of you, disappear. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is sweeter than revenge. Oh. It is you. Yes, it is I. <laughs> now, you must obey my every command. What if I choose instead to set fire to your beard? Silence! I now possess the lamp. Which means that I now possess you. Yes, master. What is your desire? I want you to take Aladdin's palace and move it to the hottest, most miserable, bug-infested spot in the desert. <laughs> Regretfully, your wish is my command. Aladdin, how was your journey? You were missed, my son. Uh, speaking of missing, have you seen my palace? <laughs> oh, how you amuse me. Your palace is where it has always been, right over there. Well, it was there this morning. What have you done with your palace, Aladdin? Nothing. I returned home and there was no home. And where is my daughter? That's my greatest worry. She's probably in the palace, wherever that might be. You don't know where Sabrina is? You have been betrayed, my sultan. I have always suspected this Aladdin to be nothing but a rogue and a thief. And now he has stolen your daughter to prove it. I could have you put to death for this. I, I, I don't understand what has happened. I beg of you, please, let me search for my palace, my beloved wife. If I fail, I'll return and gladly offer you my life. Do not trust him, sultan. I trust you, Aladdin. But if you fail to return, I will send my entire army to hunt you down. Thank you. I have told you before, I do not want your gifts, and I do not want you. I just want to go home to my husband. I'm afraid that's quite impossible, my dear. Besides, your darling Aladdin has lost everything. He's lost his riches. He's lost his power. For him, the good life is over. No, no. Unfortunately, the Moroccan magician spoke the truth. Aladdin had become an object of ridicule. Hey, Aladdin. I think I know where your palace is. You do? Yeah. Sorry, it must be in the other coat. <laughs> In desperation, Aladdin wandered into the desert, continuing his futile search for his palace and his beloved wife. Oh, well. It's a use. You might as well return to the salt and face my death. I think it through the night. So we meet again. The ring. 
I forgot all about you. That's all right. I'm used to it. After all, when you've got that big bag of wind in the lamp, who needs me, a little old genie of the ring? I do. Oh, I'm flattered. I, I need to be transported to my wife in my palace, wherever they might be. This magic carpet knows the way. Here, sit. Thank you. My pleasure. Hey, how does this car... It just, it, it went up and flew and there were clouds and, and we landed and, and with this evil man. The evil Moroccan magician. Where's my lamp? Uh, he carries it with him all the time. Okay, I have a plan. Listen carefully. Just do exactly as I say. You're gonna have to pretend that you like him. Huh? And then I'll... I knew that you would eventually come to appreciate my charm. Yes, well, I, I was so foolish to resist you. Yes. <laughs> what about Aladdin? Who? <laughs> uh. mm. <laughs> no, my darling. Your hands are magic. <laughs> yeah. We will always be together. What are you doing with my wife, Uncle? Oh, Aladdin, my dear friend. <laughs> I'm afraid you're a little too late. Looking for something? Sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional. How may I serve you? Well, you can start by disposing of that. I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry. I want you to take don't him take somewhere where he'll never do anyone any harm again. We could all be friends. No, 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 no. Wait, With wait, pleasure. Wait, wait, wait! Ow! Ow! Oh, 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 oh. What's this? What's this? Entertaining. Very entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Aladdin, who may I ask? Is is that? Uh that's the magic friend I was telling you about. Oh. Hello. Now, if you'd be so kind, I'd like you to Transport you and your palace back to where it belongs, of course. I haven't learned to listen, have you? <laughs> now you can take the palace back. But the princess and I, we'd like to take the carpet if you don't mind. I don't mind. I am pleased to report that Aladdin and his princess returned home and were greeted with a huge celebration. And years later, when the Sultan had retired, Aladdin took his place and became a kind and wise ruler, much beloved by his people. As for me, his faithful genie, I am still alive, thousands of years later, and am currently seeking a new master. Are there any of you who wish to live happily ever after? 